Dana versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! You asked for it. Go ahead and try to go for like Flame Waker with coin plus like missiles blast over mirror image. I definitely keep like all the one to th mm. against Zoo. Yeah, I'd probably keep all the one one to three mana cards except mirror image. No, no intellect and no spell slinger. I wonder. I'm actually gonna save coin with spell slinger. My cult sorcerer might not have anything to do next I'm turn, unless I frostbolt. I feel like I'd prefer to just. Actually, I like this the best. I was gonna say just frostbolt spell slinger and then save coin for flame waker because coin with flame waker can see is so important. But we have to value our frostbolt higher than cult sorcerer, so we just trade here. It's like a frostbolt. So it's like we get to save the frost from our hands. Oh, it looks like it's handlock. Wanted, dead or alive. I don't really like the overload here. I like just freezing this with the coin. I can even. Probably not kill it, but I can get it low enough where it's very easy to splash it down next turn. My eyes are open. This looks like a tome turn. If I AI, I probably can't spend my last two mana. And I have a very good trade here. Yeah, I don't like the Feral Spirits at all. Maybe, maybe much later in the game. But he just lost his Moral Coal. He might actually have to take this 3 damage on his Drake again. I'd say tentatively kind of prefer AI over Tome because... First of all, I don't even have enough cards to play. I have too many cards for Tome. That's that's the first of all, but second of all, if I play the the other thing is right now I'm looking for minions. Uh, Tome won't give me minions. AI could give me some minions. So my whole hand of spells right now. I didn't like blast. I didn't like just passing there, playing barrier, and trying to set up for flame strike on turn seven, especially with like Emperor being a thing. I I wouldn't be able to flame strike if he plays cards more than four health. I'm just going to use this turn to overload. I, I didn't like those wolves anyways. want to save my blast for spell power if possible. But it looks too good here to just clear his board. So. I can take this game into the long game. This is actually a good situation for me. Even though you would think my deck doesn't go late. It's so much cycling power. And with this much spell support, my small drops, like 1-3 to three mana minions, are going to be very good. Hmm... I feel like... Playing Conjure, it's almost certainly not going to trade. Against a Dragon deck, he can just Black and Corruptor this and I just spend 5 mana. With this, I feel like I get more done, like a cycle more, I can potentially get an immediate answer. This I can get an immediate answer too, but AI gives me maybe even more potential to give an answer like Fireball or... Not Frostbolt, can't kill it, but Frostbolt would be a good draw too. Blast and Missiles would be a good draw. Just get closer to killing it. I guess the important thing is I have AoE, like Flame Strike, and if he's a Dragon deck, even if he gets multiple Emperor activations, like if he overcommits too much to the board, I can Flame Strike, and I don't really have to worry about Malagos because there's no more Dark Bombs. Okay, this is gonna have to be a letting the Doomsayer go. He has way too much on board. Mm. 
I need to play one spell here. I wonder. Time runs out on me. It's very rare you want to let Doomsayer go if you, if you can stop it, but he played Doomsayer with Emperor and Sunwalker and I had a mana room. It's, it's just too much for me to try to kill the Doomsayer and build the other two minions. Could have like Leroy combo. It's pretty scary. He's at 17. I'm pretty close to killing him. I have a barrier down. It is fairly important for me not to Yogg here, because I had so many cards in my hand. Yogg usually want to dump your spells first, at least. Not to mention Yogg uh, kind of draws you cards a lot, so if I had 10 cards, or almost 10 cards in my hand, like 8 plus, and play Yogg, I'm very likely milling. This is just letting me set up for a flame strike next turn. Didn't want to play Effigy because of those mirror images. Just deal three face damage. At this point, um, probably setting for Yogg next turn. The only reason to kind of Yogg is I don't really like since Yogg clears the board sometimes anyways. It's not that good for set for Flame Strike. It could be better just Frost bolts him a lot in the face, so I can get that damage in and then Yogg. But uh, yeah, there are like those reasons I said not to Yogg. Bolster. Bolster dummy. <laughs> Rip Yogg. It's not bad, so it's pretty good Yogg actually so far. Oh, he... This guy died, yeah. Slammed. Okay. It's not nearly as good anymore. Actually, it's good. I got Mind Blast in, I think. So I got some damage. Cleared the board. I gave him two cards, so I gave myself five armor and a card. Certainly could have gone better, but it's starting to have gone worse, too. I barrier down still. I was thinking just probably play both five drops. Um, so he'd have to clear my board, hit me with the face of the rag, and then soul fired for him to kill me. Otherwise, if he end gang his face, the barrier would proc. But Flame Lance was too good to pass up here. I only need one more burn spell to kill him. Maybe just some pings. I don't have much burn spells left in my deck though. I only have like missiles. Let's make magic. He's not a Reno deck, and he's used Alex on me, so... I mean, there might be some healing, like Earthen Rings and Siphon Soul, but it shouldn't be something like Reno. Could be Draxus. He's trying to control me out of the game. Larmonts is my best effigy minion at this point. 
I guess it's not going to be a huge difference here between a 3 and a 4. There's no way that Missile's first is better than the other one first. It doesn't really make sense. You're just missling the stuff you kill anyways with Arcane Explosion. I should maybe grind him out. We were both at three cards, and my hero power is better once. Well, we're all hero power is useless at the end. I can just burn him out with my pings if he doesn't have anything left. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Flamewaker and spells. I actually think I could have killed him. It's two. Eight, ten, eleven. I think could have done eleven, so yeah. I don't like him blast against warrior that much. Maybe frostful against warrior. Warrior's kind of weird, I think. You actually maybe don't want the early game stuff unless you have mirror image sometimes. It's not bad to keep just curve starting from three, where your three drops don't die to fire roar axe. And just things like Arcane and Allah. The end is coming! This is what, four damage? Flamewaker coin missiles is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. So six. And you hit mm. six now, that's not even remotely likely. I could probably clear here, but I just feel it's better because I don't value these images very much at all right now. I feel like it's might as well just play do, uh, Watermental here. And the next turn, go for the Flame Waker Blast plus another spell. I can play two spells next turn, Flame Waker. This is what I'm kind of worried about Brawl, because I have no... My curve lined up pretty low right now. Depends how I top deck. You want it? I got it. I like Polybore here. Dragon's Breath is kind of weak. Uh, Dragon's Breath of Missiles might be very good because I can deal like enough damage, Welcome but the there's a thing where I can maybe Polybore an image too. Bit unfortunate the missiles there, especially if he just kills this with an axe and trades in. I think it's unlikely he has axe, because he can't value a 6-1 very highly when I can just ping it, so he could have axed and traded into the minion instead of, say, shield slamming or bashing one of them, yeah. 
I, I think it definitely makes sense that you wouldn't have an axe. I dream and the world trends. Wanted, dead or alive. I'm likely yogging next turn. It's definitely not worth a moral call on guy, because I, I can get that damage again next turn. And so I'm just going to freeze this. It's better than Frostbite in the face, I think, because he can just trade to Sarah and one of my minions. Get those slots hit and then yog. Once I find something really good here, maybe a tome would make me not want to yog. I've played 10 spells already. But yeah, okay, this is gonna be yog. Got you, Sarah. In a valley game. Plus, I can dig through my deck fairly. Actually, actually yeah, I have Drakes and AI. I can dig through for your Sarah, too. And also, by the way, once I get higher with this deck, I'm planning on adding in a ooze instead of one of the cards, maybe like Water Mythal or something like that. But I think at low rated when the metagame isn't dominated by war, uh, by weapon heavy classes, it's not really a great idea right now. Swing priests and rent like druids and stuff. I find in this direction. Ah, this is weird. If I deal 6 damage to him, is that 17 minus 6? 11. He's gonna get revenged. Actually, wait, who cares? Revenge is not a big deal right now. I'm gonna try to wait here. Maybe I should say Frostbolt. Th that would have played around Grom better to have Frostbolt here, but I don't really want to give up my Ysera into the Grom. And I have Eye for an Eye and Misdirect. Uh, he's definitely attacking with this one first, but it might Misdirect and kill it. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, now he knows it's not Noble Sack. <laughs> See, oh, he might just go for it. Eye for an eye, get him. Gore Helpers. sense because he has another weapon I do speak to me this game's not looking good I don't think I'll have the finishing power here Even something like Flame Strike's not that good because of I can't ping that guy. Seven power on board. I 
feel like I have to draw minions here instead of dig for spells like Cabal's Tomb because this is a spell immune. So I won't be able to kill Laughing Sister I pretty much without like pretty much no matter what with any spell. still get stuff like frost snow and vaporize but problem is then how do i win he's already getting four health a turn i don't think i can realistically win this game you win this 